So last time I was out riding electric unicycle where we did this major long trip around uh, Ruskily Inlet. I had some troubles uh, with the audio when I was out there, so now I'm trying a new setup where I kind of uh, strap on an external microphone on the helmet. And the whole idea is that I could bring multiple camera angles and today I'm just I'm just having the GoPro uh, Max on the helmet and I have a lapel mic that is strapped uh, to the helmet that goes to an external uh, recorder which in this case is a Zoom H1N H1N, yeah I think it's gone So in that way I can drive around and I can show you the beautiful surroundings of uh, Rungstedt Harbor Originally, I had planned to mount something on the wheel as well. So I had like a more steady fixed camera that would look the way that the, the wheel is riding. But uh, it turned out that there was no more glue on the GoPro mount. So I had to drop that idea because that would end badly. No doubt about that. So there's a small beach where you can go and swim if you want to do that. And all the nice boats that are here. You see, this is a from Danish standards a fairly big harbor, and there are some pretty nice restaurants here as well on the, on the other side over there. I can't ride there. Bicycles are not allowed. This is technically not a bicycle; it's an electric unicycle but uh, we shouldn't do that. So, we're moving into the golden hour here, so it's uh, very nice. So we just go out here to the end, and uh, it is a bit windy today, so it will be interesting to see if the wind muff that I've mounted in front of the lapel would actually help to reduce the wind noise. I have uh, in many times uh, actually wanted to skip the Zoom uh, H1N because the auto leveling feature is uh, too loud. At least if I keep the microphone as close as uh, I am in this case. It is, what is it? 20 centimeters from my mouth or so. You can see that, I can just show you this on a, on a clip. So, uh, let's just go out here. Yeah, it's a lot of wind. It's the wind muff taking this. Oh. So you can see over there on the other side, you can see the restaurants that I've been talking about. That's a whole row of restaurants. And uh, in this part of uh, North Zealand, this is probably, uh, it's where all the rich guys are living. <laughs> but this is probably the place where that's the most busy, the, the harbor that is most busy in, uh, in the summer. It's a nice place, I enjoy coming here with my wife and kid to eat once in a while. So let's just head back. I just take off the phone here so I can see what I am actually seeing. So it's still recording. So that's nice. I can feel it's um, more windy now. And uh, yeah. The days are getting significantly shorter here in this time of year, so uh, there's not so much time after work to do these uh, recordings. But I take whatever I can. And uh, this was an excellent opportunity to show you a little bit of the nice surroundings. It's very close to where I work. so. But as I mentioned before, uh, I have an idea that I want to use another camera angle so in uh, I will have one that is mounted on the helmet like this and then I would put one on the wheel probably be the GoPro Max because of the insane stabilization and um, I will put that on the wheel so you can I can shift between the angles uh, that would give a, a lot more flexibility to, to this setup so what do you think about the setup so far? What about the audio quality, uh, the video quality? Let me know in the comments below. 
I really want to have like a nice mobile setup because there are so many beautiful places around here that I really want to show you guys. So uh, bringing the drone down here to this place is probably not the best idea in the world. So uh, for now it has to be like rolling footage from the wheel. So, and in case you're wondering, I'm riding the Kingsung 18 XL uh, and I made like a longer range test with that wheel. I took it for an 80 kilometer ride with some of my friends. And in case you missed that video, you can fetch it up here. You can fetch it up here somewhere. <laughs> also, if you don't want to comment on the video directly, then simply drop a comment saying hello because I'm really interested in seeing if you made it so far into to the video. I really want to get to know you guys that are the hardcore fans and watches uh, all my content. So just step in the comment below and say hi. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.